This LOS is calculate and interpret the beta and cost of capital for a project. Estimating a beta and determining a project beta. So there's four steps here in estimating a beta using the pure play method. Step one is select the comparable. Determine comparable company or companies. These are companies with similar business risk. Step two is estimate the comparable's beta. Estimate the equity beta of the comparable company or companies. Step three is to unlever the comparable's beta. Unlever the beta of the comparable company or companies, removing the financial risk component of the equity beta, leaving the business risk component of the beta. Step four is then lever the beta for the project's financial risk. You lever the beta of the project by adjusting the asset beta for the financial risk of the project. Estimating a beta and determining a project beta. So step three is to unlever the comparable's beta. So you need to be given the beta's comparable. You need to find that out. That's a beta for a comparable company or companies, and then you're gonna unlever it. So you can see beta U, beta unlevered here. So you just take for the numerator, that's easy. It's the beta of the levered company. And then the denominator is one plus bracket, one minus the tax rate of the comparable times the debt to equity ratio of the comparable company, okay? So once you've got that, the beta for unlevered for the comparable, uh, the way that you calculate the beta uh, levered for the project's financial risk is you take that calculation that you've made for the unlevered beta of the comparable, and it's almost the exact same formula here as the uh, denominator above, but you're just changing the tax rate and the debt to equity for your project. So it's the beta unlevered of the comparable times, big bracket, one plus, one minus the tax uh, rate of the project times the debt to equity to the project, okay? So the next slide, we're just gonna work through an example to see how we do these calculations. But 100%, you need to be able to memorize these two formulas, okay? But once you've got the denominator, it's not too bad because that's uh, basically the same from here over, but you're just changing it from the comparables companies uh, numbers to the project numbers. So we're just gonna work through an example here of estimating a beta and determining a project beta. So to illustrate these equations, suppose we wanna evaluate a project that will be financed with debt to equity in the ratio of 0.4 to one. So that's a debt to equity ratio of 0.4, okay? So that's our project debt to equity that we're given. And so we need to find a comparable company in operating in the same line of business as the project. The marginal tax rate for the company sponsoring the project and the comparable company is 35%. So there's no change in the tax rate. It's the same for the uh, comparable company and the project. The comparable company has a beta of 1.2 and a debt to equity ratio of 0.125, okay? So here's how we calculate the beta of the uh, unlevered for the comparable. Remember, I put the formula here on the right-hand side, uh, just as a reference. So it's giving us the beta of the levered comparable, and we've got that, it's 1.2. And we're gonna divide by one plus, big brackets, one minus the tax rate, times the debt to equity of the comparable company, okay? So when we do that math, it's gonna equal 1.1098. And then as I said, to get the beta levered for the project, we're gonna take that number, we're gonna put it down here, and we're gonna uh, multiply by big bracket, one plus, one minus the tax rate is the same, but then the debt to equity of the project, and that was given to us up here as 0.4. And when we do the math on that, it's gonna give us 1.3983. So that's the beta uh, for the levered pr uh, project. And that's important because then we can calculate the cost of equity, for example, using the cap M, which would be the risk-free plus the beta levered here of the project times return to the market minus the risk-free, for example, okay? and that would give us the cost of equity. We've calculated a uh, project beta. So we're just gonna finish this LOS as we often do with a practice question. The risk-free rate is 5.25%. The estimated risk premium is 7%. Using the capital asset pricing model, the cost of equity for a capital in an industry with a debt to equity ratio of 0.01, asset beta of 2.27, and marginal tax rate of 23%, is closest to A, 17%, B, 21%, or C, 24%. Okay, this question is just a little bit tricky because they talk about an asset beta of 2.27, okay? And I just wanna point out uh, in the end of chapter 
summary questions for uh, corporate finance for this reading, it does talk about an asset beta, and that's where you pick up on it. And that's why it's so important that the end of chapter questions and solutions are required reading, okay? Because that asset beta doesn't come up so clearly in the text, but in the practice question, it does come up. And where do we use it? Well, we use it here. We have to calculate the beta um, levered for the project. And that asset beta, the 2.27, they're giving it, that's the unlevered comparable, okay? So we first lever the beta by taking that 2.27, multiplying it by one plus, one minus the tax rate, times the debt to equity of 0.01, we get 2.2875. Then to calculate the cost of capital, using the cap M, it's the risk-free plus the uh, new levered uh, beta, 2.2875, times the equity risk premium of 7%, we're gonna get 0.2126 or 21.26, and that is closest to B. So the correct answer is B. So a little bit of a tricky question because it's bringing in this terminology with regards to an asset beta. So I strongly re uh, encourage you to do all the questions at the back of the chapter, and you'll see that is in uh, two of the questions where they refer to the asset beta. So one last practice question, just go over these calculations again. An analyst gathered the following information about a private company and its publicly traded competitor. So we have the comparable companies, the tax rate, the debt to equity, and the equity beta. So for the private company, there's a tax rate of 30%, debt to equity of one, and we don't have, it's not available, the equity beta. For the public company that is comparable, we have a tax rate of 35%, a debt to equity ratio of 0.9, and an equity beta of 1.75. So using the pure play method, the estimated equity beta for the private company is closest to A, 1.029, B, 1.104, or C, 1.877. Okay, this is exactly going through steps three and four. So step three, you need to unlever the beta. So we have the beta of the levered company in the numerator, we've got that, 1.75, and it's divided by one plus, one minus the tax rate of the comparable, which is 35%, times the debt to equity of the comparable, which is 0 0.9, okay? So 1.75 divided by one plus, 1 minus 0 0.35 times 0 0.9, that's going to give us 1.104, and that is the beta unlevered for the comparable. We take that number, and now we multiply by 1 plus 1 minus the uh, tax rate of the project times the debt to equity of the project, and we get 1.877, so the correct answer is C. So this type of question for the uh, unlevering the beta, relevering it, and uh, you can see here again, it's inferring the asset beta. When they talk about the asset beta, I just wanted to show you that again. They, they, in that last question, they had given us the beta unlevered. We talking, uh, that is the asset beta, okay? So again, just takes a little bit of practice. And uh, that's the last slide for this LOS, thank you.